All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about why do we actually alias tags and why do we, you know, or why would we even use uh, standard tags like we're seeing right here, like local uh, 3i data, right? So this, is be, this would be referencing the actual input card down here. And it's a lot harder to read um, unless you have a description. And if you have to upload later, you will lose your description. So you might as well, being that Studio 5000 is a, or, RS Logics 5000 is a tag based system, you might as well make the tags. Now I can show you that this still, this ladder logic does still work. 100% of, you know, it, it does still work. But when I push the buttons, you can tell that the start push button and stop push button. Now it's easily, you know, used over here and you can indicate what they are. However, uh, if somebody's coming behind you trying to understand that and they, you know, just don't see the connection or whatever the case may be, um, just remember that when it comes down to it, uh, programming is always about getting the you know scope of work done first, making sure that it does scope work, and then the second thing is making it user friendly for the person behind you so they can easily troubleshoot it. Now I'm going to show you. Uh, now I've showed you the example of using the real world input right here, um, and then coming in using the actual the real data coming from the PLC using the buttons, right? So that's the inputs coming directly from the cards and the outputs going directly to the cards as are from the cards as well. So again, inputs are coming in. That's everything coming into the you know PLC uh, rack. It could, it, it could be the local rack, or in this case, it is a local rack, or it could be a remote rack. Um, in the other case, um, we have the output card, which is down here. Uh, we'll see the output light come on. That is when out the uh, it's the PLC sending data out, right? So it's sending the the power out to that specific uh, card and that specific uh, point on that card. Now let me show you a different example again uh, with the same thing done, but with alias tags. So uh, when we come down to it, we'll come over here and we'll download real quick just to show you this. Um, again, when it comes to it, it's it's a very short system, very uh, compact, so it, it'll take no time to download. So we'll go ahead and download to this again. Um, our environment too, while we're doing this and we're quickly talking about this, um, make sure you are aware. Uh, Logics, uh, RS Logic 5000 and Studio 5000 are basically exactly the same. They might look a little bit different, but they work and function the same way. So uh, it gets the as the things get better. Um, you know, software gets a little bit better at that's just the user interface. Uh, so as you see right here, now that I downloaded this code, you can see the tag based system is aliased. So I'm aliasing the tag. So I'm making a tag first. I'm actually pointing the tag out to say, okay, this is the start P PB. So I'm I'm giving the person behind me not a description. I can write a description here and say that this is a start uh, push button. You know, I can do that, but if I ever have to upload, it's going to get rid of that, right? It's not going to be there. So I might as well make the tag the actual description as best I can, right? So there's a limitation to that, but it's a tag based system. So you might as well do that to aid the person behind you or even aid yourself in better troubleshooting your own code, right? When it comes down to it, you're going to see this quite a bit. Um, when it comes up to uh, using utilizing these, you can see that that is the start push button, start PB, and it's alias to that input, that input card down here, and it controls this um, actual OTE over here, which comes down here and does a seal in circuit. Now, um, again, the start stop push button is done the exact same way, and you do see the outputs coming and doing the same thing. So you can see this does say start PB light and then stop PB light, right? So you can see I have the green light as the start and the yellow uh, amber light as the actual stop. So that's currently what I have on the trainer so you can see how that is functioning. Now again, between the two codes, you can actually see the difference between them. Looking side by side, back and forth, you can see the two, difference in the, uh, two differences in the code. And again, when it comes down to it, it really depends on if you want to have it more user friendly, if you want to actually come back and, you know, I mean, you can do it both ways. But again, when it comes down to it, make sure when you're programming that you make it as efficient as possible, but also make it easy for somebody to read coming behind you. Um, 
This is a tag based system so you might as well use it and hopefully you learned a lot out of this video in this short video and uh, if you did I appreciate you and we'll see you guys on the next one.